Today I'd like to walk through sending in your quarter window frames and your vent window frames in on your 6768 for rechrome. Um, we had some decent reproductions. There used to be two makers for these reproduction uh, vent window frames. And unfortunately, Dynacorn, the better of the two, um, something happened with the tooling. It got lost or broken, I forget. So now on our website, all we have is the inferior quality ones. You can make them work, but boy, at every angle, you're going to struggle with them. So actually, I'm going to have Andrew hand me the camera, and he's going to show you on his car some of the struggles he has. So Andrew, here, I'll pretend I'm a cameraman. <laughs> This is the reproduction frame, and everything was a struggle on this. The uh, seal, I ended up having to glue in the rubber seals, and you can still see there's, there's gaps. Um, this top screw, maybe it's more of a problem with the seal, but couldn't get the top screws to even go in. Hmm. Um, these vertical bars, these are restored pieces. And the angle of the vent window frame at the bottom here was off, so I had to put it in a vise and bend the frame a bit to even get that to go in. And I think I scratched this a little bit in the process. So at every angle, at every piece of rubber, everything, you struggled with it. But the end result is it looks pretty good. It looks nice. Yeah. So only Andrew knows the pain hidden under all that rubber there. And the second problem is they're expensive. Yeah. So, okay, I'm going to hand the camera back to you, Andrew. So the beauty about the reproductions is no cores to send to us, but you're going to fight it all the way. Now, the downfall of sending yours in to be rechromed is you'll lose definition. I, I, I think it gives it a muted look once these are put on a polisher. Because keep in mind, they have to go to the level of the deepest pit. So you also get waivers in there. And if you look really close, it might not even show on this camera, you'll get little speckles. Those are the remainders of some of the pits that were there. So, you know, at first glance, they look good, but you start looking at the detail, like, like right in here. If you've got pits in here, they might have to uh, polish so heavy in here that you won't even see that line anymore. Let's look at the original. Now see how sharp and crisp the original line is there? You just lose that when you re-chrome a die cast part. And really, everywhere you look on this, I mean, like, look at this uh, tolerance here, and then look at it here. That's, that's from polishing it to get those pits out. So um, your best results are when you send in cores like this. This one is going to require very little polishing. If they're heavy pitted in here, and eaten into here, sorry, you're going to have to pay the core charge, and we're just going to throw those away. So this is what I call a good core, light pitting. It could be a little worse than this and still be what I call a good core. Let's move over to these quarter windows. Same thing, there are no reproductions available on this, and there probably never will be, so this is what you're stuck with. Here's one of the issues you have on these. These rollers, once they get dipped, they don't look as good, do they? They look tired, and they don't spin as well. Keep in mind they don't actually, we call them rollers. Let's just say they're slides. They don't really need to roll. But, yeah, see, they just look tired and stressed after they go through the vat. For the most part, though, they, they survive. <clears throat> you can drill them out, but that requires tapping them and putting a fastener in through the backside. So... <clears throat> you might you might choose to do that. We'll let, we'll we'll work with you either way. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the other details on this. Again, uh, light pitting is good on this. If you got heavy pitting, uh, that's going to be a problem. This core here is nice, except for I think this one will pass. But look how it's compromised right there. See that area there? They're they're going to have a hard time. See, they're going to have to buff until that area completely goes away. So if you got multiple big pits in this area, gosh, you know, their, their polishing would look like this. So you don't want them any worse than about that. So that's what a good core is versus a bad core. Now, uh, I have a little special for you. The special is 
if you'll just send me an email or a phone call and say uh, window frame special, we're going to give you a free call tag. That will get all four of your cores headed to me. And when you send them, I want them naked. I don't want any fasteners, glass, rubber. They need to be naked. I'll get them all four to me, and then I'll exchange them, and then send them back at you, free shipping. That's when you buy all four, four pieces. So um, these days with the shipping getting so outrageous, sometimes it behooves you, even if there is no special involved, when you're sending cores to me, whether it's bumpers or boosters or whatever, sometimes it behooves you to get a hold of us for a call tag because we send out you know, tens of thousands of dollars through UPS all the time. And you going to the retail counter, believe it or not, sometimes pay double or triple. So keep that service in mind. Uh, we, we can't always give you a free call tag. We will on a special like this, but we can give you a discounted one. Let's also run through, real quick before I end this video, on how to bust one of these apart efficiently. If you've never taken a part assembly like this, this might be kind of a daunting task. So I'm going to show you some tricks. A lot of people find this easier just to take this whole track assembly out of the quarter window with it than try to separate them inside. So uh, keep in mind you got to stop, a couple stops here. And I always like to loosen things up with uh, this spray. This is the best on earth. This is way better than WD-40 or, or any other product I've ever found. Don't actually have to take that off. And then uh, actually, this is out of a parts car so it's dry. So I uh, shot some stuff down in there. Just like that. Doubt this is going to penetrate, but we're going to try it. And notice how I got some good leverage on here. This one's going to come out pretty easy. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes you will break the bond between the dissimilar metals by doing that with a screwdriver. And a good quality screwdriver will, will seat in there nicely. So we're going to take that out, and these really get stuck in here at times. We're going to see how this one goes. So yeah, this you can actually put a couple pair of vice grips or clamps on this to help, but this one's coming out a little easier than some. Some of them get a lot of rust in there. Next, we got these two little screws here, and notice how shallow they are. Um, I've had to grind those out of there before. Let's see how these come out. Ah, oh, nice. I like it when it sounds like that. Yeah, that's what we want to hear. Now, if you do have to ruin this stainless frame, sacrifice it to get it out, and sometimes they're that bad, uh, only for people that watch this video, just mention it when you order the four pieces. Uh, that you'd like one of these for free, you had to ruin yours. And I do have some extra cores around here. Also know that we sell these repolished. So those, that's for the guy really going the extra mile because, face it, this kind of gets buried in your weather stripping. You don't really see it. But for the guy that really wants his car to pop, we do have that available. Okay, we got those two pieces. Let's, uh, just for the heck of it, get this going. And before I even start, I'm going to seat the screwdriver. Look at that. That's how, that's how good a fit you get once you bang it in there. Nice. Yeah, this one is a little easier than some, so do know that it's not always going to go this simple. This screw looks like it's been replaced before because it looks um, suspiciously clean. Okay. Here we go. Okay, you want to be careful on this rubber seal. This one was probably twisted when it was installed from the factory. So that one I don't know, I might have to replace that. Of course, there are no reproductions. So we do have used ones if yours is ruined. Um, they're, they're hard and stiff, but that's what they are. There you go. 
carefully take that off and now you can polish your glass and get in places you could never get in before. Uh, we also have excellent and grade B uh, quarter glass if yours is scratched up. And this is how your core should look like when you send it in to us. Comes out pretty clean and the glass bead, even at 120 PSI, does not damage the rubber. It just bounces off of it.